Jackson. The Warriors and the Trojans have already warmed up and we're only a few minutes away from kickoff. The marquee matchup in the area, according to today's Harrisburg Patriot. The Warriors come in here 3-0. Hershey 2-1. Hershey with victories over West York and Milton Hershey and an overtime loss to Cedar Crest. Meanwhile, the Warriors are unblemished with wins over Southwestern, New Oxford, and Big Spring. Last week, it was Darnell Johnson exploding with six touchdowns against the Bulldogs. And now Johnson has ten scores on the season. And he and Jared Lynn have provided quite a one-two punch for the Warriors. They are numbers one and two in the area in rushing. Lynn, a converted tight end, all he's done in the first three games is rush for over 100 yards per contest. But the Warriors are going to have their hands full here tonight against a Hershey High team and their quarterback, Brock Smith. He's 6'3", 230 pounds, and according to head coach Sam Leedy, he is a handful. And he has back his leading receiver from a year ago, David Bennett. So look for that passing tandem. Smith to Bennett, 41 times last year. They made the connection. And that's a pretty respectable total for a 10-game high school season. Last year, the Trojans defeated the Warriors in Gettysburg 10-7 in a defensive struggle. The key matchups will have the defensive line for Gettysburg trying to stuff the running attack for Hershey. And that's where Smith comes in trying to wing it downfield to Bennett and company. There has been some vulnerability in the secondary for the Warriors. Uh, New Oxford scored a couple of touchdowns late through the airwaves. And last week, what limited success the Bulldogs did have was in the passing game. So that might be viewed as an Achilles heel. We'll see how the defensive secondary responds. The Warriors have played very well here at this stadium, and they lost a 14-7 decision to the Falcons of Lower Dolphin a couple of years ago when Lower Dolphin advanced to the districts and actually won the district title. So uh, this is a key matchup here tonight. Are the Warriors for real? We're about ready to find out. And before we do, an opportunity to thank our fine fleet of underwriters for tonight's game. And they are Adams County National Bank, Kenny's Market, the Pub and Restaurant, the Gingerbread Man, and the Lynx of Gettysburg. I'll be talking about our sponsors and expressing appreciation for their support throughout the telecast here tonight. The Trojans of Hershey High host the Gettysburg Warriors. I'm Jeff Cook, and Paul Plank will provide you all the lens work when we return with the opening kickoff here on Adams Community Television. Captains for the Warriors, Greg Malawicki, Darnell Johnson, Tyler Scudder, and Jared Lynn meet their opposite numbers at midfield and they'll reenact the toss. A beautiful night for football. It's, it's a beautiful day. We've had just tremendous weather here in South Central Pennsylvania the last several days and the Warriors have deferred so they will have the choice in the second half. Hershey will get the football. So an immediate test, Brock Smith and the high-powered Trojan passing attack against the secondary of the Warriors. Are you ready for some football? Coming up, a great one on ABC. Cowboys, Redskins, but stay tuned for high school football here on ACTV. Tim Newman. 
hoping to kick it away for the Warriors. Keep for Hershey, Ryan McMullen. McMullen is David Bennett. It will be McMullen at the 12, and he's down at the 17. Jesse Trail has done an excellent job on special teams all season, and a great open field tackle. Trojans will start first and 10 at their own 17. Connor McKee, the left defensive end. Greg Malawicki and Danny Keeney, the tackles. Terrell Barnes on the right side, defensive end. Jared Lynn in the middle. Gets the rest of that defense after this carry. About three or four yards, Jared Lynn on the stop. Make it second and seven. Second and seven, Smith, the south ball to throw. He's got a man, still on his feet. Finally, Darnell Johnson gets in on the tackle, but a big gain of about 20 yards for favorite target, David Bennett. Bennett on the quick slant, and Smith threw a strike. First and 10 for Hershey. 39. Not much running room. Robin Shaw belts down the ball carrier. Matt Kolbaki on the tote. They're going to call it second and eight. A beautiful artificial turf surface here at Hershey Stadium. Trojans on their opening drive of the night. You're watching this contest on Adams Community Television, the high school football game of the week. Pull back again. Got about three or four yards. Kobaki is a junior, 5'10", 155 pounds. So it's going to bring up a third and four for Brock Smith. And it is a split end to the far side. Smith is looking for him. He's got it. Complete. Little hook pattern. And the spin move made sure that he got the first down yardage. Dirk Sistrunk on the stop. And just like that, Smith is two for two. And according to Coach Leedy, he's the best quarterback they've faced all year and shows a lot of poise in the pocket. First and ten Trojans. Clock running, nine minutes and change in the opening quarter. Smith still has the football. He's got a man wide open, complete. First down yardage, still on his feet and pulling for extra yardage is John Godlaski. 6'3", 230 pound tight end and he's a handful. And Smith, well, so far the uh, pregame prediction right on target. Smith finding very little success between tackles trying to run the football but three for three for lots of yardage through the airwaves and the third first down of the drive for the Trojans at the Gettysburg 28 incomplete inadvertent contact intended for Bennett on the post or rather the post corner and pretty good coverage by Darnell Johnson so it'll be second and ten Good job by the Hershey offensive line to keep 
the would-be sack artists at bay, at least thus far. Special thanks to the Adams County National Bank. They've been serving our local communities here in Adams County since 1857. Give them a call at 334-3161. Adams County National Bank, they do it all for you. Banking, accounting services, and a lot more at ACNB. Bennett again, nice catch. Caught the back tip of the football. And he got about seven yards. It's going to be third and three. No doubt the Trojans in four down territory. Clock running now, eight minutes to go in the quarter. Split out to the far side is Ryan Loudermill, number 39 in your on the shot. He's, uh, he's actually a flanker. He's 6'5", so an imposing ta target. Smith is looking for him in the out route. Misfired. Smith got rid of that ball a little prematurely, and Loudermill could not really finish his route, and the ball incomplete. So now it's fourth and a long two. The Trojans trying to keep the drive alive. And they go to the no huddle. Or they're going to try the field goal. They are going to try the field goal. Smith does it all. He's the place kicker as well. This will be a 37 yard attempt. The kick is up. It looks to be wide left, and it is. No good. So a long drive for the Trojans, but they come up empty. Wide left is the call, and the Warriors will take over at their own 20-yard line. Special thanks to the Pub and Restaurant on the Square in Gettysburg. They are personable and professional at the pub. Open seven days a week for your enjoyment. It's where good friends meet. Victuals like or you'll find them all at the Pub and Restaurant, Lincoln Square in Gettysburg. Thank you for your support. Jared Lynn spinning and twisting for a couple. Stuffed nicely by Dan Habig. He's a 6'2", 275-pound defensive tackle. So whoever's going to have to block Habig is going to have their hands full tonight. Seven minutes and change to go, second and nine. Give Lynn a yard. You're watching this high school game of the week on ACTV, channel 10 on your Adelphia dial. The pitch, Johnson has running room. Still on his feet. And a flag down. Flag on the play, they went Toss sweep to the far side, and Johnson, you could tell as the player was developing, he had running room, appeared to pick up the first down, but it's going to be an illegal block against the Warriors and will negate that fine game by Darnell Johnson. They're a good grocer, they're a good neighbor. They're Kenny's Market, and they've got a store near you. Gettysburg, Littlestown, Spring Grove, and Tawny Town. They serve all those communities. And your gold card is the passbook to tremendous savings at Kenny's Market. We thank you for your support. And if you appreciate watching the game of the week here on ACTV, go and patronize these businesses and tell them that you thank them for their generous support. Jesse Trail splits to the near side. Terrell Barnes, blank to the far. Scudder for Barnes, and nearly intercepted. Kobaki got leather on it, couldn't pull it down. And that was actually Darnell Johnson on the pattern. Johnson splits time between wide out and wide receiver. That time he went into the wide out mode, ran a post route, and it'll be third and 10. So Johnson got the yardage. It was negated by the penalty, and thus with the incomplete pass on second down, it's third and 10. Trail to the near side as the flanker. Gutter to throw. 
Intended for Terrell Barnes. And it looks like interference is going to be called on David Bennett. Barnes tried to stretch out for the football, and it, I'm not sure that Bennett really interfered, but uh, the Warriors will take the call. It is interference against the Trojans, and it will give the Warriors a first down. The home fans over here on the Hershey side really don't appreciate that call. They thought incidental contact, and the ball was overthrown. I mean, that's the question was it catchable, but in the referee's opinion or the official's opinion, the defender impeded Barnes' route to the ball and left the flag. So first and ten on the penalty. Special thanks also to the gingerbread man, 217 Steinweir Avenue in Gettysburg. Spirit merchant and grocer, good things happen when you go to the G-Man. Darnell Johnson got about five yards right up the gut. So when you go, next time you go to the Gingerbread Man, tell the staff there that you really appreciate their support. High School Football Game of the Week on ACTV. Ditto the pub and restaurant. Two of my favorite restaurants and my families as well. We always have a great meal at the pub and at the Gingerbread Man. Second and seven. The counterplay to Johnson, tries to get outside, skips away from one man, spin move, still on his feet and has the first down yardage near midfield. So Johnson on a 10 yard scamper on the counterplay, misdirection, the, the play starts out coming to the left and then Johnson goes to the right. Wisely the wide out on that side, I think it was Terrell Barnes, did not try to throw a play would have been called an illegal block to the back, and Johnson, with his speed and elusiveness, able to avoid the tackle. Straight ahead, Jared Lynn got a couple. Left tackle for the Warriors is Michael Morrow. And on the left side, it's number 69. Danny Keeney, second down and eight. Connor McKee tight end to the near side. The give us to Johnson. Nice stop. And he's dropped in his tracks by Godlasky. So Godlasky goes both ways and it's third and six. Number 69 now playing tackle for the Gettysburg Warriors, Dan Keeney. That name rings a bell. More specifically, the name Dan Keeney rings the dinner bell. Dan is the son of George Keeney, new executive chef at the Lakes of Gettysburg. Keeney prepares the area's most delectable Sunday brunch buffet every week, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Third and six. Scudder rolling left. Firing has a man incomplete. Great job by the defender to separate Jesse Trail from the football. And that was Chris Baker on the coverage. The Lynx at Gettysburg recently ranked the number six public golf course in the entire Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Don't forget that Sunday brunch buffet every week, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Call 359-8000, extension 50, to make your reservations this Sunday. George Keeney also provides the culinary excellence to make every wedding reception a day not to be forgotten. The Lynx and George Keeney, what a team. And what a team, the Warriors are gonna punt it away on fourth down. Baker watches it bounce into the end zone, first and 10 for Hershey. What a team, just like Dan Keeney and the Gettysburg Warriors visit the Lynx at Gettysburg this Sunday for Chef George's Sunday Brunch Buffet with a spectacular view. Tim Newman got all of that one, 49 yards on the kick. Thank you to the Lynx of Gettysburg for your excellent support. And if you'd like a personal message to one of your gridiron heroes, you want to get involved in the underwriting here at ACTV, give me a call. I'm Jeff Cook, 334-8516. 
And if you want to order a copy of the, game, the tape here tonight, you can call the TV station at 334-3000. Timeout. Hershey will take a T.O. as well. 4.30 to go here in the opening quarter. We are scoreless. Three receivers to the far side. Smith has time and incomplete intended for Loudermilk. Excellent coverage by Jesse Trail. And you can hear the reaction of the Hershey fans. They think Trail arrived just before the football, but no flag. Second and 10, so after hitting his first three, Smith has misfired on his last three attempts. That was drilled to the target, and Loudermilk, you can't called him. It was, he was just separated from the football and a fine defensive play by Jesse Trail. Again, they send the three wide receiver set to the far side. Godlasky, the tight end to the near. Straight ahead. Kobaki on the carry. Rather, that's Ag Alex Agosti. Landing on the stop, but not before Agosti has 11 yards and a first down. Trojans on the march once again. An unusual program here at Hershey. They list the players by their class. This one you think you've seen it all. Out of the eye formation, he gives second man through as Agosti. Why not give it to him until he stopped? And that time he got about nine yards on the carry. RJ Van Brakel on the stop. And that was Matt Kolbacki, so I think I, I got these two backs figured out now for Hershey. Baker and Bennett, a slot to the near side, out of the eye. And Smith to throw. He's pressured. Great catch by Bennett. Got about 14 yards on the catch. Excellent coverage by Darnell Johnson. And somehow Bennett came down with a football. He's a glue-fingered receiver. Already with a couple of catches here this morning, around this evening, in the, here in the first quarter. 314 to go first quarter from the Warrior 44, no score. Slot to the far side, got Lasky tight end to the near. Alex Agosti is the up back. Kobaki out of the eye, it's Agosti on the carry, stacked up. Corbin in on the play along with Jared Lynn and Connor McKee. And Agosti held to about a yard and a half gain. Jared Lynn is the defensive signal caller from his inside linebacker position. Paul Krenzer is the other inside linebacker. And you have R.J. Van Brakel and Robin Shaw as the outside linebackers. In the secondary, it's Dirk Sistrunk, Darnell Johnson, and Jesse Trail at the safety position. And Jared Lynn ran off the sideline. I'm not sure if he had an equipment adjustment or what the situation is. Brian Smith replaces him in the lineup. And it looks like they're working on perhaps a strap or something for Jared Lynn's shoulder pads. Wide receiver to each side. Smith, short drop. Intended for Bennett. Knocked away beautifully by Darnell Smith. Or Tarnell Johnson, I'm sorry. Smith's pass was floated out there to Bennett, who's shaking up on the play. And a great play by Darnell Johnson to break it up, because Bennett had two hands on it, and it looked like another 20-yard gain. And now they're tending to Bennett. T officials timeout on the field, and we'll take a timeout as well. We're scoreless here in the first quarter with 2.22 to go. about eight for the Trojans. Bennett finally shook off the cobwebs, but he's replacing the lineup. Loudermilk and Baker 
slot to the far side. Smith to throw, pump fakes. Has a man, intercepted by Jesse Trail. Jesse Trail with the INT, the pass intended for Baker. And Trail, it was one of those joint possession situations until the end when Trail wrestled the ball away. So first and 10 Warriors at their own 15. Trojans 0 for 2 in drives. They missed the field goal and now the INT. Tyler Scudder at the controls. Jared Lynn has returned to the lineup. The counter to Johnson. Still on his feet. 20, 25, 30. He might go the distance. They're not going to catch him. He's a legitimate track star. He's inside the 20. One man to beat. Darnell Johnson. 85 yards to Pater. On the counter. Talk about the game breaker. His 11th touchdown of the season, a one play drive. 85 yards. Darnell Johnson. And once you got the interference from Jesse Trail at the top of your screen, you knew he was gone. Once he got inside about the 45 yard line, he just turned on the afterburners and there was no catching him. 157 to go in the first. Tyler Scudder is good with the extra point attempt out of the hole by Bradley Thompson. So the Warriors draw first blood. They bend but don't break. Seven points off the turnover and the interception by Jesse Trail and now the 85-yard touchdown bolt by Darnell Johnson. It's 7-0 Warriors. We'll pause. Seven nothing Gettysburg in case you just joined us. We're Adams Community Television Channel 10 on your Delphia dial. Jimmy Newman puts it into the end zone. A touchback by rule. You can't return it from the end zone, so Trojans are 80 yards away from a time touchdown. So Brock Smith to try to put that interception out of his mind. Slot to the far side. Derek Sistrunk in coverage. The draw play, Kobaki spins and nobody there. No room and Krenzer polished him off. Frenzer, the junior linebacker, is a run stuffer. And when you have Malawicki, Keeney, Lynn, and Krenzer in the middle, it's awful tough to run the football. And Darnell Johnson, meanwhile, already over 100 yards in the first quarter. Baker split to the near side. Louder milk in motion. Has the quick pass. Good job by Darnell Johnson to limit him to about a four or five yard gain. And it'll bring, bring up a third down at about four and a half yards. So Bennett has returned to the lineup after being shaken up. Louder milk, flank to the near side, Bennett split to the far. Agosti and Kobaki out of the eye. Smith the throw. Nice catch. Bennett went down and got it. Got about nine yards, only needed four, so they how he had 41 grabs a year ago. He is slippery and he is very sure-handed. A senior 
wide receiver already with four catches here in the first quarter. Under a minute now to go. First quarter action here on your high school game of the week. Hershey hosting Gettysburg. First man through, Agosti. Nothing doing, RJ Van Brakel. He pulls Agosti to about a yard. Corbin into the lineup now, replacing Morrow. Today's Warrior Band doing a great job as always on the far side under the direction of Matt Alosi. Could be the last play of the quarter. Five seconds, three, two. Uh, Smith taking a long time and he just doesn't get it. He doesn't get it off. So it'll be a second and nine when we start the second quarter after this ball. Second and nine, Brock Smith at the controls. Drops, looking for a man, Bennett complete. Beautiful pass by Smith, he just zipped it out to Bennett on the quick out pattern, kind of a curl out. Bennett with five catches here early, testing the secondary. This is gonna be their modus operandi, unless they can, you know, maybe get some yards on a draw or something like that, but they just don't appear able to run the football. This is this will be a key test. Third and one. Let's see what they call here. But Brock Smith's so accurate they can just move down the field with a short passing game. Nothing doing. Kilbaki stopped in his tracks. Greg Malawicki and Curtis Corbin in on the stop. So they force a punt. Kopaki lost the yard, you know, they almost had to go to the run, but you just had a feeling they weren't going to make it. That's just the way this game is shaking out so far. So, the third drive results in a punt. Hershey's been able to move the football, but Warrior defense forcing their offense to stall, and now Trail. Trail with a fumble on the punt, and the Trojans have it at the Hershey 23. So talk about a test. The Warrior defense will be put to the test here as the Trojans with a short field to operate on. Gettysburg turned its turnover into points. Can Hershey do likewise? 10.29 to go here in the second quarter. Malawicki and Danny Keeney, the defensive tackles. First and 10, Smith. Looking to throw, now he looks to run the option, found the seam and Malawicki dragged him down, but not before Brock Smith got about three or four yards. R.J. Van Brakel in on the play as well. Number 69 playing tackle for the Gettysburg Warriors, Dan Keeney, the name rings a bell. The dinner bell, Dan, the son of George Keeney, new executive chef at the Lynx at Gettysburg. George prepares the area's most delectable Sunday brunch buffet every Sunday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Call 359-8000, extension 50 to make reservations. Second and six. Slot to the near side. Smith to throw, he's got a man. Baker with the catch in the first down. It'll be first and 10 Trojans at the Gettysburg 11. Well thrown ball. Brock Smith to Chris Baker. A new brides to be out there. George Keeney provides the culinary excellence to make every wedding reception a day not to be forgotten. Make your dreams come true with the Lynx and George Keeney. What a team, just like Dan Keeney and the Gettysburg Warriors. Visit the Lynx 
at Gettysburg this Sunday for Chef George's Sunday Brunch Buffet with a spectacular view. Thank you for your support. The Lynx at Gettysburg. Smith to throw again. Hit! And he's going to be sacked. I think Malawicki hit him first. And Brock at 230 pounds. He's hard to jack to the ground. Terrell Barnes, defensive end, and R.J. Van Brakel all kind of met at the quarterback along with Malawicki. So that helps the defensive cause for the Warriors. Second and 14, under nine minutes to go. Gettysburg defense a year ago kind of labored in obscurity under the radar. They got the job done, but the offense couldn't score. And uh, thus the four and six record. And the Warriors have turned it around in a big way here in 2004. Slot to the far side. Smith looking to throw. Intercepted. Caught in the key. Picked up the screen pass. 50, 40, 30, 20. He's going to score. Connor McKee, 68 yards, defensive end, the senior, and another huge play by the Warrior defense. No flags, Connor McKee. He doesn't get that many touches on the offense at tight end, but he made the most of his opportunity, read that play perfectly. Smith tried to dump the middle screen, and McKee was all over it. Took that loaf of bread 67 yards to the house, and Tyler Scudder will attempt the point after. 8.13 to play. The kick is good, and there's a flag down. It could be a roughing call. Brock Smith taking out some frustration as he leveled the holder, and it is going to go against Brock Smith. So he took out some of his frustration. Two INTs on Smith, and great job by the defense. The Trojans can't run the ball, and Smith throwing on nearly every down. And that time, you can tell there's some time spent watching film because the key snipped out the screen, and he was not going to be denied. Connor McKee listed at six feet, and he went into the air and snared the pigskin, rumbled 67 yards, and nobody close to catching him. Well, if your stomach's rumbling, head to the pub and restaurant on the square in Gettysburg. Open seven days a week for your enjoyment. Victuals, libations galore. It's where good friends meet. Thank you to Lisa Graham and all the fine staff at the pub and restaurant, Lincoln Square in Gettysburg. And now after the Brock Smith penalty, a 15-yarder roughing call, and Newman will be kicking off from the Trojan 45-yard line. Staunch play by the Warrior defense. And Newman nearly splits the uprights. Second touchback of the contest for Timmy Newman. And once again, Hershey forced to start at their own 20. all for the Warriors Bend but don't break defense Darnell Johnson 85 yards on the counter after the interception by Jesse Trail and then after it looked like the Trojans were in position to score a tying touchdown a sack forced second and long and then McKee with a 67 yard INT returned for a touchdown flag down is going to go against Hershey Bennett on the catch, but this one's coming back. I think there was forward motion by, premature motion by the backfield, and that is the call, backfield in motion by the referee. So it'll be, instead of a first and 10 at near the 40, it's going to be a first and 15 from the 15. Backfield. Jeff Cook and Paul Plank.
Mike bringing you the action. High school football game of the week from Hershey Stadium. So far, it's been all Warriors on the scoreboard. 14 nothing. 8.05 to go in the second quarter. Loudermilk in motion. Brock Smith. The give is to Agosti. He got a couple. Got most of the penalty yardage back, so it'll be second in about 12 or 13. Jared Lynn on yet another tackle. Clock ticking, 7.40 to go in the half. Special thanks to the Gingerbread Man, 217 Steinware Avenue in Gettysburg. Check out the G-Man tonight for an outstanding meal. Open seven days a week. Spirit merchant and grocer, the Gingerbread Man. Smith to throw, and he's got Bennett for first down yardage. Lynn and Van Brakel finally hold to the turf, but Bennett, he's got Velcro hands, and he can catch everything. And what a great combination, Brock Smith to Dave Bennett. You can tell they've uh, they've got a certain je ne sais quoi, a certain karma between them, and uh, Brock Smith knows Bennett's every move when he makes the out move. The football is there. Smith steps inside, looking for a seam. Cuts back to beat Krenzer and has about nine yards. Terrell Barnes and Malawicki finally rack him up, but not before Smith on the option has a nine yard pickup. So it's gonna be probably their best bet on the ground is gonna be Smith on that uh, option play where he tries to find a seam and cut it up. Got about eight yards, so call it second and two. Trojans on the move once again, but they've been able to move the football between the 20s, but they can't punch it in the red zone. Now there's great running room for Kolbaki. He got about 20 yards and finally bumped out of bounds at the Gettysburg 37-yard line. So Kolbaki with his best run of the night. So most teams run use the run to set up the pass, and Hershey just the opposite. They use the pass, and sometimes it does set up the run. First and 10, Kobaki with a nifty pickup, and Trojans on the move once again, but still nothing to show for it on the scoreboard. Three wide receivers set to the near side. Smith has time, and now he's hit as he threw, incomplete. Receiver was all alone was 10 yards behind any defender. Actually, that was Chris Baker. And fortunately for the Warriors, the ball was under thrown. Credit the pressure, though, by the pass rush. They finally put a little heat on Brock Smith. 6.05 now to go in the second quarter. Special thanks to Kenny's Market. With stores to serve you, in Littlestown, Spring Grove, Tawny Town, and Gettysburg, one of my favorite places to shop, Kenny's Market, bring your gold card, and it'll open the door to tremendous savings at Kenny's. Van Breaker with the initial hit, but Kobaki with enough strength to pick up yardage. So it'll be third and about six. Under six minutes now to go in the half. Big play for both teams. This is the area of the field where the Gettysburg defense seems to stiffen. Smith on a drop. He's blindsided and dropped for a loss. Terrell Barnes. Nobody blocked the left defensive end and he came storming in. That is Smith, the south ball. That's his blind side. And he couldn't see the heat. And Barnes wrapped them up for a big loss. And now the Trojans will have to punt it away. Also, 
Warriors again force the turnover, at least the turnover on downs here. Smith surveying the real estate, he punts and angles it for the corner. Out of bounds at about the 12. Serving Adams County, Gettysburg and surrounding communities since 1857. That's six years before the famous battle. It's the Adams County National Bank. Something you can count on since 1857. At ACNB, they do it all for you. Banking, financial planning, accounting, and more at ACNB. Serving you at Lincoln Square and Gettysburg or a branch office in your neighborhood. Give them a call at 334-3161, Adams County National Bank. Slot formation to the far side. Warriors start the drive at their own 13. Lynn and Johnson out of the eye. It's Johnson still on his feet to the 20. Got about seven. Brock Smith finally whips on him to the ground. It'll be second and three. And if you're Coach Leedy and the Warriors staff, you just want to avoid a turnover here. I mean, great if you can add to this 14-0 lead. Excellent. But uh, the thing you don't want to do is give up the football and let Hershey get right back in this thing with a touchdown late here in the second quarter. Split backs, little mix-up, but Jared Lynn still able to get the football, and it looks like he's going to be close to first down yardage as he drove the pile forward. Good job to lead the attack by center Kyle Miller. Adam Heidel in there at the guard position. Danny Keeney, Michael Morrow, the tackles, and or rather, I guess Danny Keeney's the left guard, and Paul Krenzer. The left tackle, I'll, I'll check that alignment for you. Connor McKee, the tight end, he had his moment in the sun a few minutes ago with a 67-yard return of an interception for a touchdown. But he's not in there at the moment. Timeout on the field, DJ Stahl at the tight end position. So Coach Leedy wants to talk about his play selection here, first and 10. 3.29 to go in the half. You're watching high school football game of the week on Adams Community Television. First and ten as Coach Leedy trots to the near sideline. Three wide receiver set. Quick pitch. Darnell Johnson. He hit a seam and got about eight yards. Under three and a half to go. In the half. Coach Leedy's assistants are Mike Monadoro, Josh Sieg, Bob Murray, Chris Bowman, Judy Zentz, Eldridge Moses, Willie Green, Skip Dudash, and Chad Deckard. Second and two Warriors, under three minutes to go in the half. Tyler Scudder at the controls. The counter play to Johnson, this time the Trojans sniff it out pretty well. Not much room at all for Johnson. Will Nackless on the stop. 6'2", 247 pounds, senior lineman. Warriors third and about a foot as the clock ticks down to the 220 mark of the second quarter. Offset eye is the formation, power eye rather. Johnson picks up the first down and more. Sashay's out to about the 43 where the Warriors will get a fresh set of downs. Clock stopped with 2.10 to go as they reset the chains. High formation, Scudder to throw. Looking for Terrell Barnes, there's contact again and no flag this time. Chris Baker on the coverage. And it looked like some, uh, what now will be deemed inadvertent contact. No flags.
Johnson again off the left side. Paul Krenz with the left tackle. Danny King in the left guard on that left side. And it's going to be third and about three. Well, all of a sudden you start to look at the clock. The Warriors on the move at midfield, but a buck 20 to play. So, officials time out. Got Lasky coming over to the sideline. about three for the Warriors. They try to pick it up on the ground and it looks like Darnell Johnson has the first down to the 46. One minute to go. And now, now the Warriors call a timeout. They have one timeout left and they're gonna talk a little bit about clock management as they try to get in position for perhaps at least a field goal try. One minute to go in the second quarter 14 nothing Warriors will return. First and 10 Warriors with one minute to go. Split back, Scudder to throw. Steps up, has a man complete to Jesse Trail for a gain of about seven. Trail out of bounds near the 37, but there's a flag on the play and it's a holding ball against the Warriors. They're gonna move it 10 yards from the point Foul. And the Warriors, all of a sudden, they may go into a uh, run out the clock mode here because instead of a second and four from the 37, they're going to have a first and about 23 from their own 39-yard line with 53 seconds to go. So if you're Coach Leedy, again, you don't want to see, you know, you're perfectly happy with his 14-0 lead going into the locker room. You certainly don't want to let the Trojans back in it. So I still look for them to keep it on the ground here in this first and 23 situation. But what do I know? Scudder to throw. And now he gets outside, and he's knocked out of bounds, but he picked up about eight yards. Good job by Tyler Scudder. Nice decision not to try to force it in to coverage. He got some positive yardage, stopped the clock with 45 seconds to go. It's now second and about 16. Still on their own side of the field, so this next player or two is really going to determine uh, Coach Leedy's mindset. Now his main mindset is just don't turn it over. Keep keep these positive vibes flowing. High formation. Draw play. Darnell Johnson. Men in the backfield. And still on his feet. Spinning and twisting to the 45. It'll be third and nine. Clock running though now with 30 seconds to play in the half. Jeff Cook and Paul Plank bringing you the high school football. Game of the week, channel 10 on your Adelphia dial, Adams Community Television. Slot to the near side. Scudder to throw, he's got a man. Same pattern as before, Jesse Trail picked up the first down to the 34 yard line, so Excellent job by the Warriors, conserving clock, but now only four seconds to go. That was a long count. There was 30 seconds to go before that play, and it didn't seem like the play took 26 seconds to develop, so obviously a long count, and are they going to try a 51-yard field goal? I think not. They're probably just going to throw the ball down in the end zone and cover like a punt to Hail Mary. Lone setback is Lynn. Scudder, isolation on Terrell Barnes, incomplete, bended on the coverage. So three receivers to the right, Terrell Barnes alone to the left. They run a fly pattern, but good coverage by Dave Bennett. And that brings us to the half. We're going to pick up the 
the action and bring you some of the Gettysburg band here during the break, but the team's head to the locker room. It's been all Warriors on the scoreboard. Hershey able to move the football, but unable to cash it in. Our score at the half, Gettysburg 14, Hershey nothing.
actually thank you for it because I could not eat any food the entire day and then I Just Jennifer Gallery and it's very good stuff. Just Jennifer Gallery, located on 33 York Street, downtown Gettysburg. Just Jennifer Gallery has a wide selection of pottery, hand-blown glass, candles, and handcrafted silver jewelry from around the world. You can also find accent pieces for the home, antiques, rugs, and great gift ideas. Just Jennifer's represents over 40 artists, such as world-renowned Harley Davidson artists Scott Jacobs and David Ewell, as well as Native American artist Raymond Yarbaugh of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Stop by Just Jennifer's on the first Friday of every month for First Friday, Gettysburg style. A new artist is featured every month and refreshments are served. Just Jennifer's. Very cool stuff. Great prices. Wells Brothers, a local family-owned and operated company for over 20 years, is looking for company drivers, owner-operators, and small fleets to add to our expanding operations. We have dedicated runs available for local, regional, and over-the-road drivers with no-touch driver-friendly freight. We offer the best late model professional equipment available to make sure our drivers have the comfort they deserve. If you're looking to find a long-term home with a relaxed, friendly working environment, please call us for more information. 800-541-8973. Tremendous performance by the Gettysburg Warrior Marching Band under the direction of Mr. Matt Alosi. Excellent leadership by Band President Chad Cook and Vice President Jeff Harner as well. Brock Smith. We have some statistical highlights from the first half. Smith to kick it away, so the Warriors deferred. They put the onus on their defense, and they have, that shows how much confidence they have in their defensive side of the football. So Smith, 10 out of 15 for 116 yards, but no scores. David Bennett, he's as good a receiver as you'll see at this level. He'll be playing football somewhere on Saturdays next year. Seven catches, 83 yards, but that duo has been kept out of the end zone. Meanwhile, Darnell Johnson, carries 155 yards, including the 85-yard touchdown bolt after the Jesse Trail interception. And now there's a flag on the play. Some kind of personal foul, perhaps, but that was a touchback as Smith put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, and you know, Hershey, they're trying to get fired up. And instead of a touchback, starting making the Warriors start first and 10 at their own 20, one of the linemen did something silly, a cheap shot somewhere in the middle of the field. We didn't see it up here in the booth, but the official did. And so now the Warriors are out of the hole, and they start at their own 35. That's a big penalty. Coach Gump May and the Trojan staff can't be happy with that turn of events. Third quarter action here on the high school football game of the week. Jeff Cook and all the angles, slot to the near side. 
Dirk Sistrunk is the flanker. Jesse Trail the split end. Offset eye, split backs actually. This time it's Darnell Johnson. Got maybe back to the line of scrimmage and that was all. The hole, what such as it was, closed very quickly. Agosti on the stop. Actually, it was Kobaki on the stop. So it's second and ten. Johnson, no gain. Just underway here in the third quarter. Split backs. The counterplay to Jared Lynn. He was held in check in the first half. This time he picks up six or seven yards. Jared Lynn, three carries, eight yards in the first half. Scudder, three carries, 11 yards. So those are your statistical highlights. Third and a short four. Tyler Scudder's only thrown a few times. Did draw that interference call early on that helped in the field position battle. Two tight end set out of the eye. The give us to Darnell Johnson. And he's got the first down. Nice job by Kyle Miller, the center, leading the charge. And Johnson kind of tucked in behind him. And first and 10 Warriors at their own 46. Warriors on the move. Again with a two tight end set. Bryant Smith and Connor McKee are the tight ends. Darnell Johnson is knifed down after maybe a yard. And that was a sophomore, Jason Elmore. Elmore's been active here. So he, for one, at least, was inspired by Coach May's halftime remarks. Second and 10. Elmore with a couple of stops here early on. Let's see if Coach Leedy goes to the airwaves. Under 10 minutes to go in the third quarter. Gettysburg with a 14-0 lead. Jared Lynn goes in motion. The quick pitch to Darnell Johnson tries to get outside, and he does. But Godlasky has a hold of him, and Godlasky limits Johnson to about a three-yard gain, so it'll be third and about seven. Special thanks to the Pub and Restaurant for your continued support over the years, many, many years, supporting high school athletics here on ACTV. Thank you so much to Lisa Grimm and the fine staff at the Pub and Restaurant restaurant on the square in Gettysburg are personable and professional. Open seven days a week for your enjoyment. Victuals, libations galore. You'll find them all at the pub and restaurant. Thank you for your support. Slot to the near side. Split backs. Scudder at the controls. Third and seven. The draw to Lynn and he goes nowhere. God last me with a couple of big stops in a row, and it looks like Timmy Newman and the punting unit are coming out for the Warriors. Special thanks as well to Kenny's Market. They're a good neighbor and a very good grocer with outstanding stores to serve you in Spring Grove, Tawnytown, Littlestown, and Gettysburg. Bring your gold card. It's the ticket to tremendous savings. One of my favorite stores. Kenny's Market. Newman to kick it away. Chris Baker deep, lets it bounce. Takes a sideways roll and it'll be first and 10 for Brock Smith and the Trojans at their own 27 yard line. G-Man, where are we going to eat? How about the G-Man, the gingerbread man? Outstanding service, outstanding meals. An outstanding experience every time you visit the Gingerbread Man, 217 Steinware Avenue. Spirit Merchant and Grocer, an outstanding restaurant accessible to you. Visit as often as you can and thank them for their very generous support. Brock Smith to throw. 
He's got louder milk, louder milk with his second grab. Looks like he's got about 13, maybe 11 yards and a first down. So louder milk in this offense, known as the other end, because so prolific is David Bennett and his ability to catch the football. If you pay too much attention to Bennett, you have the 6'5 louder milk running free and uh, first and 10 for the Trojans. Two costly interceptions for Brock Smith. He airs this out and intercepted by Darnell Johnson. Intended for Loudermill. The ball overthrown and Johnson caught it like a receiver. Third interception. Well, Brock Smith has such touch on the football that somebody seems to grab it every time, either offensively or on defense. So Jesse Trail, Connor McKee, and Darnell Johnson all with INTs. And this heralded Warrior defense as advertised here tonight. They're making big play after big play. First and 10, offset eye formation. Robin Shaw in motion to the far side. The give is to Darnell Johnson, look out. 17 yards in a hurry. Chris Baker on the stop. The market at midfield, first and 10 Warriors. <laughs> the Warriors have excellent defense. You can bank on it. And you can bank on the good folks at Adams County National Bank as well. They've been serving your local community since 1857 for all your banking needs, financial planning, and much more, Adams County National Bank. Jared Lynn starting to get loosened up now and getting into the thick of things. Another seven yard carry for Lynn, held in check in the first half. He's already doubled his rushing total from the first two quarters. Warriors pounding the football, trying to chew up the clock. Six and a half minutes to go here in the third. Trail to the near side, Robin Shaw in motion to the far. Again, it's Darnell Johnson off the left side. Cuts back inside of his lineman and picks up another first down. Darnell Johnson over 175 yards. It looks like he's headed to 200, plus an INT. Throw that in the mix. Hard to argue with him as a, you know, an early leading candidate for player of the game honors. Clock running now down to the six minute mark. Jesse Trail splits to the near side. Derek Sistrunk shifts to the far. And now they burn a timeout and Coach Leedy not happy about the mix up. But they avoid the penalty first and 10. You don't want to go backwards. Gettysburg driving, and with a 14-0 lead over Hershey here in the third quarter, we'll pause. Jesse Trail split to the near side with Derek Sistrunk in the slot, split backs for Tyler Scudder. First and 10, Sistrunk in motion to the far. The pitch, Jared Lynn ducks inside, gets knocked forward for about six yards. So Jared Lynn already with 20 yards here in the quarter. And it'll be second and a long four. Great job by the offensive line. Coach Lee again, great line play by Kyle Miller, Adam Heidel, Michael Morrow, Paul Krenzer, and Danny Keeney. Along with tight end Connor McKee. Darnell Johnson breaks the tackle, skips at the five, and dives forward to about the two. Could be a face mask tacked on at the end. So that's going to put him over 200 yards. And the Warriors will have a first and goal at the five. Looks like a face mask. Well, they 
I guess they were just marking the end. Yeah, he was marking the. They didn't give him that last dive at the end. It wasn't a flag, it was the bean bag marking the point of forward progress. So first and ten, first and goal rather from the five. Scudder hands to Darnell Johnson. And he's into the end zone. Five yard run to glory for Darnell Johnson. The Warriors taking control of this contest. So Johnson started the drive with the INT and he finishes it off with a five yard run. 20 to nothing, point after attempt. Tyler Scudder out of the hold by Bradley Thompson. And that ball crawled over the crossbar. So it's 21 nothing Warriors. 4.43 to go in the third. Brock Smith and the Trojans have their work cut out for them when we return. Timmy Newman to kick off. Darnell Johnson, a five yard touchdown run to give the Warriors a three score lead. Chris Baker. Watches it bounce into the end zone. Another touchback three times. Timmy Newman has been the Trojans at their own 20. Great job by the offensive line. And you've seen a lot of Danny Keeney at the left guard position on the offensive line for the Warriors. Dan Keeney. That name rings a bell. How about the dinner bell? Dan is the son of George Keeney, new executive chef at the links at Gettysburg. George prepares the area's most delectable Sunday brunch buffet every Sunday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Make a call to reserve your spot now, 359-8000, extension 50. Play action, and Smith completes it. Pass thrown to Acosti. About a seven yard gain to Alex Acosti. Nice job by Smith with the pressure to get the ball away. He's great touch. Getting back to that brunch buffet, the Lynx and George Keeney, what a team. Just like Dan Keeney and the Gettysburg Warriors. Visit the Lynx at Gettysburg this Sunday for Chef George's Sunday brunch buffet. The brunch buffet with a spectacular view. Bennett with another catch, his eighth of the game, and it looks like a first down for the Trojans. And it is, first and ten. Under four minutes to go in the third. Twins to the near side, it's Baker and Bennett. Sistrunk providing the coverage. This is Kolbaki, he got about 10, another first down for the Trojans. They've had all kinds of yards in between the 20s, seem to move the football at will. And then either a big play by the line, stopping the run, or the secondary with three interceptions has certainly responded to the challenge. Special thanks to Tom Ford. He's advised me that Darnell Johnson, 19 carries, 217 yards, two scores. This is Chris Baker. Dirk Sistrunk on the coverage, but Baker with 10 yards and another Trojan first down. They just move the chains at will. It's hard to believe they're still not on the scoreboard with under three minutes to go in the third. Brock Smith is an accurate passer. Defensive secondary have kept the play in front of them. Hershey really hasn't been able to go deep. There's Kobaki again, so all this pass rush is loosening up the running lanes for Kobaki and Agosti. Kobaki with an 11 yard run. And the Trojans on the move. But this drive is taking time. Two and a half minutes and counting in 
the third quarter. Brock Smith visits Coach Gump May over on the sideline and now has the call. First and 10 at the Warrior 41. Chris Baker to the near side, Bennett to the far. Agosti and Kobaki out of the eye. Smith finds Bennett. Bennett. The ball is thrown behind him and Bennett's still able to make the grab. Nine catches for Bennett. He runs the discipline routes, gets open, and Brock Smith and Dave Bennett have a simpatico, a senior simpatico, if you will, able to connect seemingly at will, but unable to get into the end zone. Counting down to the minute and a half mark of the third quarter, it's still Gettysburg 21 0 over Hershey. This time, Agosti with nowhere to go. Got maybe a yard, banged down by Danny Keeney. Terrell Barnes also won that stop. So it's second in a short four. Counting down near the minute mark. Well, time is, things are starting to get pretty urgent for Hershey. They've got to try to cash in this opportunity, and this is another big third down. Oh, pressure. And he, he can't get up. It's not the NFL. So Terrell Barnes with the pass rush. Agosti with the catch, but it's going to be short of first down yardage, and that brings up a fourth and two. So this is the seventh drive of the night for the Trojans. Some of them have been lengthy and still nothing to show for it. Counting down near the 22nd mark of the third. Slot to the far side, Agosti and Kobaki out of the eye. Smith doesn't like the defense he sees and calls a timeout. Six seconds to go in the third. And uh, I'm not sure if he didn't, he could have just let the quarter run out. As it is, they burn a timeout. They've only got two left. It's all Gettysburg over Hershey from Hershey Stadium. Warriors 21, Trojans nothing. Fourth and two for the Trojans. Their hopes pretty much riding on this play. Smith. Has a man wide open, and Bennett had to change his route and couldn't hold on to the football. So once again, the Trojans turn it over on downs, and the Warriors will take over first and 10 at their own 33, and the Trojan defense has to find a way to stop Johnson. They haven't been able to do it so far, over 200 yards rushing. 85 of them on one sprint to the end zone. And that'll do it. Three quarters in the book. 21-0 Warriors when we return. Coach Leedy and his staff would like nothing better than a lengthy drive here as we start the fourth quarter. Split backs on the counter. It's Johnson. Got Lasky and company wrap them up after about a three-yard game. This game has been able to maintain the viewer interest. Speaking of interest, why not visit Adams County National Bank? Savings, checking accounts, and more. They've been serving our local community since 1857 at Adams County National Bank. They do it all for you. Banking, financial services, accounting, and much, much more. Visit the good people. CMB, Lincoln Square, or in a branch office near you, 334 3161. Second and seven, Jared Lynn tries to get outside. So Lynn has been held pretty much in control. He's got 30 some yards right now, but as we mentioned at the top of the show, over 100 yards in each of his first three contests. And certainly Darnell Johnson picking up the slack.
Warriors really haven't had to throw it too much tonight. They made the big plays on both sides of the ball. Misdirection. Brock Smith on, in on the tackle. As Darnell Johnson with another carry. Well, that drive didn't chew up much clock. So it's fourth and three, and Timmy Newman in to put it away. Well, speaking of chew, you always find something good to chew on at the gingerbread man. G-Man, where are we going to eat tonight? How about the G-Man, the gingerbread man, 217 Steinwehr Avenue, spirit merchant and grocer. You always have a good meal and a great experience at the gingerbread man. Fair catch. Oh, and the Trojans able to retain possession as Chris Baker crawling on his knees to corral that. And when you need to corral some groceries, head to Kenny's Market. Outstanding stores to serve you in Spring Grove, Littlestown, Gettysburg, and Tawnytown. My favorite place to shop. Bring your gold card. It's your key to tremendous savings with your Kenny's gold card. First to ten Trojans at their own 20. And they keep it on the ground. I'm not really sure if they can afford to do that. Kilbaki got about six. He's had a pretty nice second half here, but uh, the interception really hurt. Johnson, Darnell Johnson with a pick. And two picks turned into points by the Warriors. One on a one-play drive, the other a lengthier version that still ended in the end zone. 21-0 Gettysburg, clock running. Just over nine minutes to go. Hershey in danger of move, falling to two and two. Warriors trying to go to four and oh. Brock Smith under siege. He's got a man, Loudermilk picks up the first down. Terrell Barnes and Connor McKee, the defensive ends met at the quarterback, but Smith somehow slipped the, the ball to Loudermilk who moves the chains. That was crucial for the Trojans. Greg Malawicki leading the charge from his defensive tackle position. Curtis Corbin in there at the other defensive tackle. This time it's Agosti. First down yard, it's only third down and about a yard. Dan Caney, number 69, the name rings a bell, the dinner bell. Dan, the son of George Caney, the new executive chef at the Lakes of Gettysburg. Chef George prepares the area's most delectable Sunday brunch buffet every week, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Call 3598000, extension 50, to make your reservations today. Smith under... Pressure completes the pass to Agosti for first down yardage. Still on his feet near the 48 yard line and Darnell Johnson and Jesse Trail wrestle him out of bounds and somehow Mountain Wiki got out there as well. You brides to be, Chef George provides the culinary excellence to make every wedding reception a day you will never forget. The Lynx and George Keeney, what a team. Just like Dan Keeney and the Gettysburg Warriors, visit the Lynx at Gettysburg this Sunday, this Sunday for Chef Keeney's Sunday brunch buffet with a spectacular view. R.J. Van Brakel wrestles Loudermilk to the turf after a five-yard reception. So these five yards and a cloud of dust aren't going to get it done for the Trojans. And Coach Leedy and the staff will give them that five-yard out pattern all night. It's the theme of bend but don't break. Second and six. Smith throwing now on nearly every play. Hands it off this time to Kobaki. 
They go back, he got about three or four yards. Robin Shaw in on the stop along with McKee and Van Brakel, Derek Sistra. So another big third down for Brock Smith and the Trojans under seven minutes to go. Slot to the far side with Bennett and Loudermilk. Godlasky tight end to the near. Out of the eye. Quick throw, Bennett has the ball and the first down. Robin Shaw on the tackle. Or, or, excuse me, that was RJ Van Brinkle. The theme of this defense, Ben, but don't Van Brinkle. Bennett now with 10 catches on the day. He's an impressive receiver. He's over 100 yards through the airways, but you know, Brock Smith now spending a lot of time getting the call from the sideline, first and 10 at the Warrior 39, but Father Time, the enemy. Warriors with a 21-0 lead. Smith throws deep, has louder milk. He's got the ball, and the ball came loose, incomplete. Let's see. And it's a fumble. Loudermilk fumbled it at the one, and it went into the end zone, recovered by the Warriors. Let's see, they're talking about it. They're having a confab. Trojans want a touchdown, and obviously the Warriors want the football. 38-yard gain, Loudermilk, and he's tackled. It looked like he was tackled at the one. The ball was forward into the end zone where the Warriors recovered it. And they're going to say down by contact? Well, we'll see. They're still discussing it. 6.02 to go in the fourth quarter. We're going to stay right with the action because this is a pretty important decision impacting the outcome of this game. Well, we'll see. Jared Lynn is at the 30-yard line. Well, maybe it's going to be called incomplete. Maybe Loudermilk never had possession, and that's probably the best call they can make. The referee explaining it to uh, Brock May. First down. I don't. I still don't understand the call. Yeah. The flag is in the uh, in the holding area, so maybe it's going to be negate the catch. That'd be an easy way to get themselves off the hook. Uh, the officials rule that there's a hold, which would negate the pass play, whether it was a completion or not. And yet they're talking to Dave Bennett, one of the captains for Hershey. To the pub and restaurant on the square in Gettysburg, supporting local sports in our local community for so many years, thanks to Lisa Grimm and her fine staff. At the pub and restaurant, they're personable and professional. Victuals, libations galore, you'll find them all at the pub and restaurant. Open seven days a week for your enjoyment. It's where good friends meet. Well, it's a first and ten at the original line of scrimmage. I still don't know what happened. The give is to Kobaki. Kobaki gets a wacky after a pickup of about six. Van Brakel, Van Brokem. And call it second and a long five. 5.41 to go, so I still don't understand that sequence. But obviously, the play negated. Maybe it was offsetting. Second and a long five. Trojans are still not on the scoreboard. 21-0 Gettysburg with 5.20 to go. Doesn't seem to be a sense of urgency for Brock Smith and the Trojans. And now he airs it out, intended for Bennett, incomplete. Good double coverage. Johnson was behind him and Jesse Trail in front knocked the ball down. So Bennett tried to get behind the defense and couldn't do it. 
They'll give them the five yarders now. They just can't give up the quick score. So it's third and six. Trojan hopes, slim as they are, coming down to this next play or two. Louder Milch flanked to the near side. Bennett's put to the far. And they give it nothing doing. Jared Lynn stuffed that. That was a gosty to try to surprise the Warriors with the run, and they were not fooled. Fourth and six. The game coming down to this. If the Warriors can hold here, they pretty much have this one in the bag. Looking to move to 4-0. and The latest rankings had them number 10 statewide at the AAA level, and obviously Coach Leedy did not allow them to read those clippings. It hasn't gone to their head, and they've had a balanced effort. Screen pass, complete to Agosti. Bay and Brakel with a solid tackle, short of the first down. So R.J. Van Brakel has really had an outstanding game in his linebacker position. It's hard to point to any Warriors who have not had an outstanding game. And once again, they turn it over on downs. So eight drives, three end in interceptions, one resulted in a missed field goal. I think the Trojans have only punted once or twice in the whole game. But once they get close, the Warrior defense gets aroused. And right now they're pitching a shutout. Two tight end set for the Warriors. Jared Lynn flanked to the far side. Corbin, the lead blocker for Darnell Johnson, nothing doing that time. Great pursuit by Mike Landis, the linebacker. So Johnson lost the yard, he's still well over 200 for the game. Special thanks to our underwriters, the Pub and Restaurant, the Gingerbread Man, Kenny's Market, the Links at Gettysburg, and Adams County National Bank, thanks to you. This game of the week has been made possible. And you viewers out there, go in and thank those merchants and patronize their businesses and express your thanks to them for helping sponsor local athletes here on ACTV. Second and 11, three and a half minutes to go. Johnson, for maybe a couple, it'll be third and nine. Well, Timmy Newman's gonna look to punt it if the Warriors don't pick up nine yards here. And Hershey calls a timeout. Habig trots off under his own power. And the Warriors have pushed the Trojans around all night, and they lead on the scoreboard 21-0 with 3.21 to go. Third and nearly 10 yards to go. 321 in the fourth, two tight end sets, offset eye. Scudder tries to get outside and he does create a little more room for Newman. Not Seinfeld's neighbor, Timmy Newman, the punter for the Warriors. Fourth and four. They'll use every bit of the clock. Under three minutes to go. Seconds and the hopes of the Trojans ticking away. Oh for eight in drives. Take the delay game penalty, use every bit of clock. Can't blame them. So they'll back it up five yards, but another 30 seconds off the clock. 2.16 now to go in this one. 
And Coach Sam Levy and the Warriors ready to move to 4-0 on the young season. Hershey will drop to 2-2. Two two, barring some kind of miracle. Line of scrimmage at the 31-yard line. High snap. And Newman gets it away. Nice job. Baker called a fair catch at the 39. He had room to run it. I'm not sure why he did that. But now there's a flag down in the back field. Oh, it's roughing the kicker. Great job by Newman. So not only does he feel the snap, but he draws the flag. And the Warriors can try to keep the drive alive and just run out the clock. The bend but don't break boys have done it again. They shut out Southwestern in the opener. A couple of late touchdowns against the reserves to New Oxford. And last week's 52 to 19 debacle win over Big Spring. Uh, Big Spring did have some sex success in the airwaves, but obviously not enough as they lost big time by 33 points. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. So a couple of personal fouls that really hurt the Warriors. Jesse Trail makes the catch, and he's inside the 10 at about the 5. So the Warriors kind of lull everybody to sleep with their ground attack. Coach Levy decides to go top shelf, and he pays big dividends, 40 yards. Tyler Scudder to Jesse Trail. So Trail fumbled that punt early on in the contest. Has certainly atoned for it with his play since then. Big catch. Big throw. Tyler Scudder to Jesse Trail. First and goal at the six. Robin Shy to the end zone. Robin Shy, his first carry of the night. And it goes for six. A buck 52 to go, and the Warriors getting ready to match their score in the opening shutout against Southwestern. 27 0. Scudder will try to make it 28 0. And that kick is no good. Pushed it off wide left. Good pressure by the Trojans, but really, this one is over. A minute 52 to go. Smith and the Trojans will try to put in the end zone just to give them something to build on next week. 4-0, the band chanting on the far sideline. They're loving this. The Warriors take center stage under the bright lights at Hershey Stadium, and they put on a tremendous performance on both sides of the football. 27 nothing. Timmy Newman has done everything they've asked him to do tonight. A couple of maybe three touchbacks and decent punting when he's had to punt. There really haven't been many punts by either team. So it looks like Jared Little will be under 100 yards, but Darnell Johnson over 200 yards. This kick taken at the five. Bennett tackled. Nice job, Jesse Trail. He's usually the first one down there on kick coverage, and maybe he was offside. There's a flag down. So maybe he had a head start getting down there on kick coverage, and they might make the Warriors kick it again. That did run seven seconds off the clock, and that is the call offsides on the kickoff team. The referees will give you a little slack, but not much. And obviously, a couple of Warriors three or four yards ahead of the ball. So Newman will have to boot it from the 35. And this will take a little bit of the charge out of the coverage team as they will have to 
make an effort to stay on sides. Baker and Bennett at their own 22, so the Trojans will get good field position, but so what? This is all Gettysburg. The Warriors scoring early, scoring late. One touchdown in each quarter, and that's going to go out of bounds at the 40-yard line, so Hershey will start at their own 40. Well, that's the NFL. It's a 35 in high school. And that's not a bad play. The Warriors will take that. So no time off the clock on that kick, but only a minute 45 to go for Brock Smith and the Hershey Trojans. Well, they kept this Hershey offense in their sights. Well, I guess it is the 40. I thought it was the 40. And now they, they've seen the Trojans in their rearview mirror as they pulled away. Smith out of the shotgun. Hit as he threw, knocked away by Van Brakel. He's had a tremendous game tonight. R.J. Van Brakel, a 10th grader, 5'11", 160 pounds of Tasmanian Devil, and he's done a great job here tonight. Along with really the, the entire defense for the Warriors. And now a few reserves getting in there. Pretty much a starter still in there for the Warriors, but uh, Alex Witt is in there at the defensive tackle position and Jake Kump at the end. So some of the reserves getting in there. Brad Thompson at the corner. Second and ten. Smith steps up. Throws downfield. Intercepted again. Number 17 for the Warriors. Ronak Patel. So four interceptions for Smith, and that'll do it. Smith, accurate passer, a lot of stats, but those four NTs are not going to impress the recruiters. Overall, though, you have to say he's a pretty outstanding prospect. A minute 25 to go. Interceptions by the Warriors, Jesse Trail, Darnell Johnson, Connor McKee, the big one, 67 yards for a touchdown, and now Ronak Patel to seal the deal. Hershey not stopping the clock, a loss of three. Brian Smith on the carry. Mike Pritt out there on the offensive line. Mike Morlock. Steven Rake is out there at the uh, receiver position. He's flanked to the near side. It's Brad Thompson at the controls. is stopped now with 36 seconds to go. Another loss of yardage, but, well, you know, the Warriors, they're only concerned now. They would like to preserve the shutout, and now a delay. A huddle, an illegal substitution, as they had too many people in the huddle. Ryan Weatherly into the contest as well for Coach Lee, he's a sophomore. Well, the 
reserves are reenacting Sherman's march to the sea in reverse. But they're using up clock. And look for Brad Thompson, maybe just take a knee, he does. So it's, it'll make it bring up a third down, and the clock is running. Travis Perone is out there. And Joe Sollenberger. And that's going to do it. I don't think they need to run another play. Four, three, two, one. A shutout for the Warrior defense. 27-0 over Hershey. A final word of thanks to our fleet of underwriters, the Links of Gettysburg, the Gingerbread Man, the Pub and Restaurant, Kenny's Market, and Adams County National Bank. We thank you for your generous support of high school athletes here on the game of the week. And so from Hershey Stadium, a shout out for the Warriors. For Paul Plank, this is Jeff Cook saying, thanks for tuning in. See you next week, sports fans. Good night. All right, Paul, I gotta run down there.